Similar to what we did last time, our six exercises, one minute with 10 seconds rest in between to get to our next exercise. But we're gonna be doing different exercises. We're gonna to try to build on what we did last week, make it a little bit more challenging. Get ready and let's get warmed up. Let's do my favorite and our basic warm up for the day. We're gonna do our multi-directional lunge patterns. So again, follow along. I've done this one before and of course, if you've worked with me, you've done this more times than you probably want. So we're gonna do our six points, okay? Just follow along. You don't have to count. We're just gonna move. Okay, sagittal plane here. Frontal plane or lateral movement. Keep the heels down, toes straight ahead. And now rotate. Try to turn that toe out a little bit. Turn your head with your spine, with the rest of your body, if you feel safe doing it and comfortable doing it. Okay, if you feel a little dizzy, look straight ahead and just turn out as much as you possibly can. Okay, so again, we're gonna go through several rounds of this. Okay, just to get the internal core temperature elevated and then get the joints warmed in multiple directions. Okay, so this is one that you could also do, just you could watch a 30 minute program and do a couple of rounds of this for five minutes while you're watching. Never hurts to get multi-directional movement. This is what keeps us balanced on walking on ice and a little more sure-footed, gets the joints to stabilize in all these different planes of motion. So this is a great one to do anytime you like. And you don't have to go very deep. Even if you can lunge deeper than what I'm doing right now, don't worry about that. Just get the movement in. We do forward walking all day long. And so it's good to get some variety of the other directions. Okay, let's do two more rounds. Last one. Okay, and we'll do a little something for the upper body and the trunk. Real simple, let's do 10 arm circles forward. Okay. Don't strain, just nice easy movement. Okay, and we'll do 10 backwards. Okay, now, lastly, you're gonna hug yourself. So each time I want you to alternate the arms, okay? Reach back as far as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And finally, let's get some trunk rotation. Okay, so don't just swing your arms and your shoulders, okay? Because otherwise, the trunk of my body and my spine are not gonna get the benefit. So actually rotate from your trunk. Turn your head with your body, again, unless you feel dizzy. Otherwise, you can keep it looking on a focal point on the wall or what have you, but get some rotation in. Get that spine warmed up. A few more. And now we're ready to work, so let's get started. Last class, we did our basic exercises, the ones that are probably the most important. And we did one minute circuits, and we switched, and took about 10 seconds to switch to different exercises. So today we're gonna do same kind of thing, six exercises, but we're gonna do a little bit of a twist on every single one, um, and, and a couple of new ones, so to mix it up. So this is a good, pattern to follow if you wanted to get some workouts in on your own or rewatch these videos. The last episode and today's episode will give you kind of a well-rounded uh, strength and conditioning uh, circuit. So we did squat. So we're going to skip the squat 
We did squat last time and we did reverse lunge. Okay, so two very similar movements. You're working similar parts of the body. So today I want to do uh, two variations of a lunge. So our first one we're going to do, our first exercise, we're going to do a lateral lunge. Okay, so this is kind of the, the pattern that we warm up with where we're doing the forward, the lateral, and the transverse plane. But we're going to do it holding onto our stable surface. So that way you can go a little bit deeper than our warm up. So if my warm up was basically here, I can go even deeper by holding onto something, okay? So you could actually use a chair in front of you as well, as long as it's pretty stable and heavy, a dining chair or something like that, or even holding the back of a, of a chair that's really firm to the ground, okay? So our reverse lunge here. Our next exercise, we're going to do lateral raises. Now, with the lateral raise, the last thing I want to do is I don't want to do this, okay, put strain on my spine, and then I also don't want to do this, okay? So I don't want my spine going drastically forward or back. I want to keep my spine neutral. Okay, so with this one, I don't necessarily have to, it's not trying to force it up and swing it as high as I possibly can. It really you go to a comfortable range, okay? So if I'm trying to find my range, for example, if to go any more and do this, that's what we want to avoid, okay? So this is probably the most fatiguing one that we do with this type of circuit. So if you have to pause within that minute, you know, pause for a second or two and then try to crank out a few more. But the goal is not to get as many as you can. The goal is to get as many as you can really well and with good quality, okay? So I'm not counting, I'm not, you know, I'm not in the home with you and counting the reps and I'm gonna give you a prize for as many reps as you possibly can. So again, find the range to where you can still maintain a nice, erect, neutral spine, okay? So that's that one. Now, our next one is a curtsy lunge, okay? So it is like if I was gonna do an actual curtsy, okay? Men can do this too. Um, so hanging on to the stage, and everyone has done this one with me a million times. And I am keeping, same as my reverse lunge, I'm keeping my heel connected to the floor. And I'm dipping down, okay? So I don't wanna come up onto my heel, because then it's putting, again, strain and tension in the danger zone of that knee, okay? I wanna keep it as soon as I force my heel down, I can feel more out of my glute, okay? Here, just like that, okay? So looking at it from this angle, I'm just basically doing a curtsy. I would say about 75% of my weight's on my front leg, so I'm not shifted back to my rear leg, okay? Here, as deep as I feel comfortable going, okay? There. Now, we're gonna do our push-up with a twist, literally. We're gonna do a rotation. Okay, so I'm gonna line everything up. If I can get to that range, if that feels stressful, then shorten up your range. I'm gonna start, as soon as my hand hits, I wanna start going into my push-up. Here, here. So my hand is over my shoulder, shoulder over my shoulder, and shoulder over my hand. Okay, so try to create this perfect line. If you get dizzy by turning your head, you can just try and bring it back as far as you can. Keep your equilibrium by looking at the stage. So here, here, okay. Now, our rotation we did last time kept everything on the horizontal on the same plane. Okay, so this time, I wanna do more of a diagonal movement. But I wanna maintain a symmetrical squat, okay? So when I come into this, I don't wanna, again, go into flexion of my spine, and I don't wanna overload my right leg here, okay? So I wanna stay pretty symmetrical, my hips over my heels, and then I'm gonna rotate a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna come in this diagonal position now, we're gonna do 30 seconds in this direction. And when you hear me say halfway, 
we're going to go 30 seconds in this direction. Okay? So think about, I'm not a golfer, I work with a lot of golfers, but think about your kind of a, a golf swing, kind of. But if you're right handed, you're not going to be swinging left. But today, you're going to be rotating from left to right. Okay? So, and then our final exercise, I want you to, this one's tough to get down. So I want you to do, we're going to do a row. So you need both of your weights, okay? You don't have to use weights. The focus is, is the retraction of your shoulder blades, okay? So just like when we're doing the push-up and I have you squeeze down at the bottom. So we're going to kind of do that. So a couple ways we can do it. Is you want to bend forward just a hair, but I've got neutral knee, okay? So here, and I'm going to pull. I don't want to elevate my shoulders, okay? So I don't want to do this, and I'm not doing this, okay? So watch real close. So I'm here. I'm going to hinge at my waist. Think about when we were doing this, okay? Kind of a similar position. I'm here, and I want to pull, okay? So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. Okay, if this one feels stressful, then take little breaks in between. So if it feels, if you feel pressure in your back, if you feel pain in your back, stop. But again, I'm not doing this, okay? I'm actually doing a row and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, okay? So let's do, start our one minute circuits and we're going to start with our lateral lunge, okay? And remember, toes straight ahead. My knee tracks my toe. I don't want to do this because I don't want to torque my knee. Okay, and I, get, and I can use my stable surface for balance. So ready in three, two, one, and go. Here, same one we warmed up with. If you want to do it freestanding away from the stage, you can do pretty much a similar one that we warmed up with. Again, I want my weight in my heels. And think about, you want it real dynamic. Try and get to the position and really spring out of that position, okay? Halfway, here, here. Go straight ahead. You want to load the hip and not the knee. Three, two, one, and switch. So let's move on to our lateral lunge, our lateral raise, sorry. Ready in three, two, one, and go. Remember, the goal is not to get it really high. The goal is to get good quality reps without dipping forward, without extending back, okay? So, right in here. So if this is as high as you feel comfortable going, then go that high. Again, this is the most fatiguing, so if you don't make it through the full minute, that's completely okay. Halfway. And three, two, one, and switch. Let's go to our curtsy lunge. Remember, heel connected to the floor in the front. Ready in three, two, one, go. Okay, go in right here. Use your stable surface, go a little bit deeper. Really gets that glute on that front leg. Halfway.
So you should feel a little more fatigue in your glute than you would with your squat or even your reverse lunge and perhaps even your lateral lunge, okay? So you should feel a little bit more right in that piriformis here, okay? Nice and deep. Three, two, one. And switch to our push up with the rotation, okay? Ready in three, two, one, and go. So here, same push up. Rotate as far as you feel comfortable going. If it's here, it's fine. Don't overextend. And remember, you don't have to go too deep in your push-up as long as your shoulders are down and you're not arched in your back, okay? So if I want to keep my range short, halfway, I can do that, okay? My pelvic floor is still working when I'm in this plank position, even if I'm not going too deep, okay? I'm still getting... Nice work in my pelvic floor. Okay, push, rotate, push, rotate. Three, two, one, and switch. All right, so now let's do our rotation. Remember, when I say halfway, you're gonna switch. So whichever direction you do, do the opposite at halfway. Symmetrical squat. Don't load one side more than the other, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Okay, if you get dizzy, you can keep that head, find a focal point. If you can turn your head a little bit, symmetrical squat, think about similar to a golf swing here, here. You wanna take it to about shoulder level, no higher. If you need to bring it down a little bit, you can. And we're switching and halfway. Symmetrical squat. Three, two, one. And finally our, our row. Okay, so this one's hard to get into position, so um, watch me again. I'm here, I'm just hanging naturally. I'm not sh shrugging my shoulders. I'm letting gravity do its work. So my only effort before I begin should just be bringing my chest up and retracting my shoulder blades a little bit. Now I'm just hinging at my waist and I'm letting the dumbbells come in front and I'm pulling, okay? so. Another way to do this, if you don't feel comfortable with that, is you could actually put your hand on your stable surface and pull one at a time, okay? So you can do that, and if you do, then if you're following along, when I say halfway, then switch and go to the other side, okay? So I'm kind of in the same position, hinged position, but I'll take a little pressure off by putting my hands on the stable surface. So you could do it either way. Okay, so three, two, one, begin. Again, I'm here. So from the front view, remember I'm squeezing something with my shoulder blades. I got a soda can and I wanna crush it here, or you can also do here. Keep your balance, maybe feel a little more stable this way and then you'll switch it halfway, which is now halfway. I wanna maintain that same angle, okay? So that same angle to where I got gravity pulling me down this way and my shoulder blades squeezing together is what's pulling the resistance from point A to point B, okay? Not just my arms and my lower back. And three, two, one, and switch. 
So let's go back to our lateral lunge. <clears throat> go back to the beginning. Ready in three, two, one, begin. <clears throat> A little bit deeper than our warm up if you can. As long as you feel safe. Again, you could do it freestanding as well. Halfway. Using my stable surface, chair, table, countertop, something I can hang on to to get a little deeper and then help myself back up. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's go back to our lateral raise. You can also use it with no weight. Okay, you can just make fists and lift that way. Three, two, one, begin. High as you feel comfortable going. You don't necessarily have to get parallel to the floor. This is recruiting same muscles if I do this. Okay, just a little bit more range. But I'm still recruiting the same muscles. Again, I don't want to arch the back. I don't want to dip too far forward. Halfway, right in here. Lift your chin, look straight ahead. I'm looking down at the clock, but don't do what I'm doing. So keep your chin up and back a little bit. Three, two, one, and we're switching to our curtsy lunge. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Halfway. Okay, just a different angle. Here. A lot of weight in that front leg. Keep that glute loaded. Okay. Three, two, one. Now let's go to our push up with rotation. Okay, remember, rotate as far as you feel comfortable going. Ready in three, two, one, go. Here. Halfway. Remember, you can kind of keep it short. Or get your full rotation, but shorten up your push up a bit. Remember, as long as you're doing the form, if your form is good, no matter how deep you're going or the range of motion, you're still recruiting the same muscles. So then let's get those muscles stronger so we can have a broader range of motion. Three, two, one, and switch. Or golf swing or diagonal rotation. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. Okay, here, symmetrical squat. None of this. My chest is still up. And I'm loaded 
somewhat evenly over my feet. And then turning my head with my hands if I can. Again, if not, look straight ahead and find a focal point. Okay. Remember, we're switching. And switch now, halfway. Okay. Rotating my trunk. I'm not just using the momentum of my arms and shoulders to move. Okay, keep going. Three, two, one, and switch. All right, so now we have our row here, okay, or here, okay, whichever one you feel safest with or most comfortable. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So obviously if you're doing one side, when I say halfway, switch over, okay? So here, I don't want to be elevated in my shoulders. Here. Okay, another angle. There, okay, or both hands. Halfway, so we're trying to get as much work around your shoulder blades or your scapula as possible. It's real important to move all those muscles around your shoulder blades and your thoracic spine. That's what keeps your posture erect rather than being rounded. It's not in the shoulder, it's in the spine, okay? Keep going, almost there. In three, two, one. Very nice work today. So last episode and this episode, those are 12 exercises that you could do and continue doing for the rest of your life. And you'll build a really well-rounded strength and conditioning program. So. Um, we'll mix it up and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.